Hey there, David Risley here, and I have come over to uh, the motorhome over in storage, and I'm going to try to replace the backup monitor, which is an old Voyager black and white monochrome, with a replacement that I picked up from RVCams.com. This is the monitor that I want to get rid of. It's just built into the dashboard. Um, and it's, you know, Voyager. It's a VOM, VOM 78, I believe. Um, and it's just, it's not working that great anymore. The screen is really faded out. Uh, it starts flashing really badly. So it, it's, it's ready, you know. So what I've got over here, if we come over here, is um, the kit that I got from RV Cams. This is, I forgot the exact model number, but this is the replacement. Um, and that actually, that's the model number for this thing. And then this is the cables and stuff. Now, it's supposed to be a direct replacement, and we're about to find out, because I have not done this yet. Uh, we're about to find out if it's an actual direct replacement. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is basically start to remove this brown panel here. It's just a couple of screws around here, a few of them, and we'll take this thing off and see what's back there. All right, so it's removed here, um, and it's the monitor is still attached because if you go back here, there's a there's brackets here. So we're basically just going to loosen this bad boy up and see about getting this screen off. Okay, so I've got the monitor, the old one over there. You can see I've got everything out and kind of stuck aside here. So basically, what I've got now is w figuring out the uh, the wiring harness that the guy sent me. So um, it looks like. This end right here is probably going to go into this on the LED. And then I've got the other ends of it, which uh, I've got multiple, looks like multiple camera hookups here. And I've got the power. So basically what I'm doing now is just figuring out where things are going to go here. Um, when I unplugged, it looks like this is the power that plug that was going directly into the old monitor. So it looks to me like I can just directly plug these two together and I'm gonna have power to the LED. And then the other one I gotta trace back, uh, sorry, not that one, it's one of these camera plugs here, uh, and trace that back and find, I think that's the one that actually was originally plugged into the monitor. So, looks like it might fit into that. So it looks like we may be good to go really fast here. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. I have got a picture. So actually that was pretty simple. So, and I'm running the engine so that I can, um, you know, get everything up and running and have some power here. But that's exactly what happened. Uh, basically that end plugs right into the LED, nice and easy. And then this wiring harness plugs right into the ones that were going into the old monitor um, and that's pretty much all there was to it so I am going to have a lot of extra wire that's just sitting back there in the dashboard but whatever there's as you can see there's plenty of room I've got some sun haze there but there's plenty of room back there so now the next step is going to be to simply mount this monitor in the dashboard and see what she looks like in there so I did a test mount in there. The, the, the new unit is definitely going to be a little smaller in the hole, but it shouldn't look too weird. Um, and it looks like I'm just going to line this up uh, right there on the middle hole. And we'll screw this thing in because it's basically going to work like this. It's going to screw in right to the existing rack and this thing is just going to hold the LED sitting there. So here we roll. Okay, so it's mounted. I haven't actually put the dashboard back thing in yet, uh, but there it is. You can see there's a little gap here at the top. Um, I mounted it a little closer to the bottom, thinking, I'm gonna try this out, but I'm thinking because this thing actually comes with a sunshade, and I'm thinking maybe if I put the sunshade in, maybe it'll hide the gap a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see how this looks. I can always make little adjustments or maybe even craft something that would fill in the gap if I want to. But that's basically the job right there. It's just, you know, very simple bracket on the back of the monitor. I mean, really doesn't get much easier. If you're going to attach the sunshade, do it before you mount it to the dashboard because now it won't fit. So I'm just going to loosen this up and get it on and then put the thing back. All right, I haven't attached it yet, but it's in and it's got the sunshade. And honestly, what I'm basically doing right now is deciding if I want to keep the sunshade. I, uh, I'm kind of wondering if it might get in the way of me seeing what's going on. It's not that bad. I can always take it off later if I want to. I'll probably just attach it like this. I can always change my mind. It's pretty easy to do. Okay, it's in. It's all attached. It basically looks like I never did anything. 
Um, and there's a new monitor. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap there from the original. I mean, if I was going to be really particular about it, I could probably fill that with something. And we'll see if I decide to be in the mood later. And there's a slight, it's hard to look at the damn sun glare. It's, it's a slight one at the top as well. Um, but um, it's honestly, unless you're looking for it like I am right now, you'll probably never notice. So there it is. Now this is actually a color monitor, but the thing is, is the camera, being that I have not replaced the camera in the back, it's still black and white. So you can see my car back there. But uh, if I ever did decide to replace the camera back there with color, I would actually have a color screen up here. So we'll see, we will see. And then there's the original. This thing is old school. They don't make them anymore, the VOM 78. Um, and like I said, it was giving me some big problems, so it's ready to go bye bye and be replaced with something else. So I turned it off and I thought I would just test, hey, does it turn on like it's supposed to when I put it in reverse gear? And it absolutely does, and which is cool. And then the other thing is interesting is it actually gives me like measurements, I guess, for three, six, and nine feet back behind me, which is interesting. I mean, I don't know. I guess there might be times where I would use it. I have no idea how accurate it is, but hey, whatever. Okay, all done. So it was a pretty easy job. Um, and once again, if you're interested in replacing your backup camera, uh, you might want to check out rvcams.com. I think his name is Tim. I am in no way being compensated for it because I paid for that thing straight up. Um, but it's interesting. I mean, I, I, I did a little bit of research. I was trying to figure out the best way to handle this old crappy VOM78 Voyager monitor. And uh, a few people had recommended RV Cam, so I figured let's do it. I, now, at, at first, I did try to, uh, I found an aftermarket. Well, not an aftermarket. This one's aftermarket. It was like an off-brand uh, backup monitor, and it was over on eTrailer.com. And I, for a little while, I thought about picking up that, but I knew that it probably would not connect to my Voyager camera back in the back without some adapters and some interesting things. So, um, and I kind of put off doing anything about it, and then come to find out they just removed it from the site, so I couldn't buy it. I did think I see it in a couple other places, and it was about a $200 monitor uh, but I probably would have had to deal with RV cams anyway in order to get the, uh, the the adapters and figure out how to mount it and all that stuff so I figured I spent $392 on this setup but it's made by Voyager um, it came, came with the wiring harness and everything basically it was plug and play I had to do nothing inside the dashboard except for figure out where to put the two plugs and that was it uh, it was really really a very very simple job so anyway that's rvcams.com and um, hopefully this thing should last a while I got an LED monitor up there now